I'm about to hit you with that magic touch. Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? My name is Malik, and I'm back on your screen with more Power Director love from Power Director University. Today I'm going to show all my Power Director peeps how to get down on the Magic Movie Wizard in Power Director, and I'm going to do it using Power Director 14 Ultimate. Let's jump off into the software and make some magic happen. Here we are in Power Director 14 Ultimate. And before I get started, I gotta remind you of a few quick things. Remember to like, comment, and share this video. When you do those things, it lets people know that the content in the video is bueno and that they should watch it too, all right? So remember, like, comment, and share. Of course, you know I'm gonna tell you to subscribe because if you're watching this video and you're not a subscriber to Power Director University, then what the heck is your problem, okay? You're missing out, people. If you're not subscribed, you don't get notifications when I upload new videos and you don't know about the new things I'm teaching all my Power Director peeps. So if you want to be one of my Power Director peeps and learn about how to use the software, subscribe to Power Director University. I think I covered everything, so let's get into this magic movie wizard thing. As you can tell in the media library, I'm hungry as a hostage right now because all I can do is concentrate on food. I need to finish this up and get back to my kitchen so I can put some edibles in my stomach. But for now, the first thing that I want to do is I'm going to go up here to my media and I'm going to actually drag one of these clips into the timeline. And I'm going to hold down my control key on my keyboard and I'm going to left click a few of these clips. The reason why I'm doing this is because I want all of the options for the Magic Movie Wizard to be available before I go into it. If I don't select the media that I want or I don't have the media that I want in the timeline, then the only option I'm going to get is to pull everything from the media library. And you'll see what I'm talking about. And segundo. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to click on Magic Tools. And when I do that, I have the option for the Magic Movie Wizard. I'm going to click on that. And so it opens up the Magic Movie Wizard. And if I did not select some of the clips or pull something into the timeline, then the timeline option would be grayed out. I wouldn't even be able to pick it. And the selected items would be grayed out. I wouldn't be able to pick that either. But now you can see I have all three options. So if you select media library, it'll take all of the things you have in your media library and make a movie out of them. If you select timeline, it'll take everything that you have on the timeline and create a movie out of that. Now keep in mind, if you choose timeline, it's not going to bring any of the edits or the changes or the effects that you added to the clips into the magic movie. It's just going to bring the clips in as if they were the original clips. All right. And then you have the option to choose selected items. So any items that you select from the media library will only will be the only items that come into the magic movie. All right. So I'm going to select media library. And I'm going to click on next. So the next option is your style. So based on the version of Power Director that you have, you'll have a certain number of styles available to you that you can choose from to add to your movie as a template or a theme. And if you don't see a lot here, there's a bunch of other ones that you can download from the director zone and they're free. All right. So I'm going to choose fast motion and I'm going to click on next. So here you can add additional things or make adjustments to your magic movie. The first option here is to add music. So if you click on the add music button, 
you get to go to a location on your computer and import music that you want to use in the Magic movie. Once you import the song, it tells you the name of the song, the time, the duration, which is the same as the time, basically. And if you add more music, they will all be listed and layered here. If you want to remove a song, you can click on the delete music button. The next option is to mix your audio levels. So if you have video playing, because this isn't just for pictures, you can use pictures, you can use videos, you can use whatever. If you have uh, videos playing and you want it to be where the audio in the video is higher, then move your slider to the right towards more video. If you want it to be where the music is louder, then move your slider to the left towards more music. I'm going to move my slider all the way to the left because I just want it to be music. If I had any videos in here, I wouldn't hear any audio from any other videos. Then you have the movie duration. So you can use the original duration that the Magic Movie Wizard came up with. It made a specific amount of time for each video and each photo or whatever clips you're using. And it came out to 50 seconds. Or you can set your own duration. So how long do you want it to be? And then it'll adjust all of the clips and videos and things to make it as long as you want it. Or you can make it fit the same length as the background music. And once again, it'll adjust the pictures, videos, and things to make it as long as it needs to be to be the same length as the music that you're using. I'm going to leave mine on original duration. And then the next option is settings. So I'm going to click on settings. And in here, you can set the criteria for different options for your movie. So the first option that you see there, it says scenes with pan zoom. So if I want to have more panning and zooming going on, then I would move the slider to the right or press on the plus button. Or if I want less, I'd move the slider to the left or click on the minus button. Same thing for scenes with people speaking. Um, I can have more or less of that. Scenes with moving objects, same thing. So basically, you can be more granular in the different options that you have and make it more suited to how you want it to look. So I'm going to leave everything as it is and I'm just going to click on cancel. And now I'm going to click on next. And so it's creating a preview for me to see what the movie is going to look like. So first thing I could do here is change the title. And this is what's going to show first on the screen. And then what's going to show last on the screen. And so now I can use my playback controls here to preview how it looks. And if after watching it, you don't like something, let's just say it didn't come out correctly. All you got to do is click on previous. You can go back and make changes to anything to make it look a little bit different if you don't like the way it turned out in the first place. So after you preview it, you can click on next. And then you can choose how you want to produce it. You can produce a file or produce it to a device uh, you can create a disc or you can edit your video on the timeline after you create it so I'm just going to create a file
And now all I need to do is select my file format, uh, production quality, all of that good stuff, find the location to save it to, and I'm good to go. Magic Movie Wizard Tutorial. You loved it, didn't ya? That's it. Finito mi gente. So, you know what to do. Hit the thumb, the one that's pointed in the upward direction. It lets people know that the content in the video is good. Comments, leave me comments. Comment on the video, ask questions, whatever the case may be. If I can't help you, I'll point you in the right direction to get you the help that you need. And last but not least, subscribe, people. If you don't subscribe, you're going to miss out every time I upload content and you won't be getting that PowerDirector love and the education on the PowerDirector software that you need to make those videos crisp, clean, and beautiful. So subscribe and do yourself right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.